Mike Steiner came to me with a pitch to study age-related design, see how that helps influence our architectures. Mike and I were both in the same meeting. He was like, hey, I've been thinking about doing this age simulation study. Would you be interested? We all three sounded interested in it. We have an associate, an architect, and an interior designer bringing three different viewpoints to this project. The goal that we have is really just to elevate the awareness of this issue within our firm, among our designers, among our architects, get everyone aware that as our country changes and the demographics shift to an older population, we need to make sure that we're designing with those folks in mind. If it informs one designer to think a little bit harder about a certain aspect and that gets implemented in a project that has a lifespan of 50 to 100 years, like a lot of our projects have, then that one small impact has already made a difference. The premise of the suit is to simulate age through restrictive movements and the weights that are actually part of the suit itself. And that simulates the decrease of muscle mass of typical aging. It affects your vision, your dexterity, your mobility, your hearing. Basically, every sense is affected. It's a full package of what it could feel like when you get older. One of the reasons why we chose the four market sectors that we did is because those have a direct impact on what we do every day as architects and designers. The first was a corporate environment. The second is an aviation project. The third is a educational setting. Then the fourth is a medical facility that we have had involvement with. It's going to be eye-opening for not just people that wear it, but the people that see what comes out of it. We got the suit and we got what we needed, and now we can go ahead and start our experiment. <laughs>
my self-consciousness or anxiety about how other people perceive me, the time I need to take to get through a space requiring me to plan much more in advance, the fears of not being able to move through a space like other people, and the anxiety that would come with that. Everyone that participated in this study gained empathy. Immediately after, everyone commented about someone that they related this to and just put themselves in their shoes. Someone specifically who was on my mind while kind of walking around was my grandfather. He had diabetes, so uh, mobility in his later years became a bigger issue. I distinctly remember walking around the mall one day with him and it seemed like everything was fine and, and he fell down. That was definitely on my mind because I was stumbling around. Makes me want to hug my grandmother. Um, and uh, take her hand wherever we are. My dad. My wife. My aunt. My grandfather and like my grandmother. The entire time that I was walking, I was thinking about my mom. She had knee replacement surgery on both of her knees, and so she walks with a limp, and like she wobbles back and forth. Now when I walk with her, I'll be more patient with her. I joke with her, I say, you're old. Um, no, it's not so funny. <laughs> Gaining that empathy and getting into an older person's head a little bit is something that we wanted to create as part of a, a takeaway for this experiment. It's very practical and pointed research that we should be able to benefit from in any of our market sectors, especially aviation and healthcare, and even elementary schools. It's all really good data that they're putting together. Very proud of them for that. Architects react differently because they're thinking with a design mind. What was so hard? Why was it hard? Rather than just feeling empathy for it, they're actually thinking about the space that they're in and how it can be better. Information should be shared across studios. We're looking at different public spaces that we're designing and developing. We all need to consider an aging population. Let's make sure we have opportunities to that identify challenges and fix those challenges for the buildings that are going to be around in the future. This project, I think, has made Corrigan a better place. If Corrigan becomes a better place, then the projects that we make will be better. I mean, ultimately, we're trying to build spaces that people enjoy and can thrive in.